While millions of people watched the eclipse safely today, some spectators may have looked up to the sky without their protective glasses. Uh, CBS 8's Richard Allen talked to some extras to find out how you can tell if you might have suffered some eye damage. And keep in mind that your eyes most likely won't hurt if you've looked at the eclipse without protection because the retina does not have pain nerves, but that doesn't make it any less dangerous. But it's an amazing experience to see something like this. I've never seen something this cool. An out of this world experience shared by millions of eclipse watchers today. It's a great, uh, exciting opportunity for everyone to come out, take a moment to look up and remind themselves of the wonders of the universe we live in. And while looking up, the vast majority of spectators heeded the very well publicized warnings to only watch the eclipse with the proper protective glasses. These local third graders got the message. My mom and dad told me to not look at, uh, look at it too long or I'm going to get blind. But some sky watchers who tried to sneak a peek without the proper protection may now be concerned about damage to their eyes, a condition known as solar retinopathy. Patients may have it without even, you know, realizing that they have an issue. Dr. Joseph Ho is an ophthalmologist with Sharp Re Steely here in San Diego. The symptoms can start hours or days after the exposure. Dr. Ho says that immediately after exposure, you may sometimes feel some eye discomfort or light sensitivity. As for other symptoms, which you may experience a little later. Within hours or days after exposure, the things that you're looking out for for solar retinopathy include blurry vision or distorted vision, blind spots, um, uh, headaches. While a very quick glance at the eclipse with no symptoms may not warrant a trip to the hospital, Dr. Ho recommends consulting an ophthalmologist if symptoms don't go away. If symptoms like this persist, like the blurriness or the blind spots, then absolutely you need to see an ophthalmologist. And for more information on what to do if you think you may have hurt your eyes while watching the eclipse, just go to CBS8.com, click on the online version of this story.